Along Ballastia's Taijin Road, a classic historic villa stands quietly amongst residential buildings. Built in the early 1900s, it was previously owned by Chiu ing Hock, a rubber magnet who bought it for his mother. He named it Wan Qing Yuan, meaning a haven for one's later years. Now named the Sun Yat-sen Nanyang Memorial Hall, this villa was also known to be the headquarter branch for the Tong Ming Hui, or Combined League Society, which was led by none other than Dr. Sun Yat-sen. Dr. Sun Yat-sen was a Chinese revolutionary who traveled far and wide, including countries like Japan, Europe, the United States, Malaysia, and Singapore, to propose for China to become a republic. Sun would overthrow the Qing dynasty reign, abolish warlord rules, and promote equal rights to land. In 1904, he came up with the three principles of the people, nationalism, democracy, and the people's livelihood. His motto was Bo Ai, or universal love. By 1905, Sun had joined forces with revolutionary students studying in Tokyo to form the Tong Ming Hui. With such huge influences, news of Sun and his mission eventually reached our shores. On the 6th of April 1906, Tio Ing Hock welcomed Sun to use the villa as the association's first branch. A few avid supporters were Tio Ing Hock himself, Tan Cho Nam, and Lim Ni Soon. Also known as the Singapore Trio, they, together with Sun, founded newspapers to promote the revolution. The Singapore Tong Ming Hui thus served as a strong financial backing and a base in terms of promoting and connecting the overseas Chinese in Southeast Asia. To this end, Sun successfully overthrew the Qing monarchy in the 1911 revolution and founded the Republic of China. In collaboration with the Memorial Hall, students of Pioneer Junior College embarked on a project to learn more about the Tong Ming Hui. Touring the grounds of Bukit Brown, members of the project share what they have learned about Singapore's involvement in this historical event. I hope to gain a wealth of knowledge on how much the pioneers have contributed to the 1911 revolution and to Singapore history. Like, I've learned that Singapore, although it's a small place, but it has indirectly um, helped in the global event because actually the 1911 revolution at that point of time, the meetings and the discussions was actually held at the Tong Mong Hui branch here in Singapore. Well, uh, but for me, I think I want to learn more about how significant it is for the pioneers to make such contributions. And they are also facing hardship, so it's not easy. And I want to understand why, what's their rationale of doing so? What do they hope to achieve from this? I think it's a very interesting site for our students to actually look at, to actually study more about, especially since it, since it actually holds a repository of memories of um, the people who were in Singapore, came to Singapore, contributed to both um, the 1911 revolution and also Singapore's development. Seeing as to how these are people who contributed so much to Singapore and to the Chinese revolution, I would say that to find out more will bring me more pride as a person. The future generation can also pay their respect to these ancestors who have also contributed much to Singapore and the history. Because history is a subject where you try to understand why people behave in a certain way and how to interact with people better. And of course, history has uh, really shaped me as a person. In the midst of this busy day and age, the Sun Yat-sen Memorial Hall represents how the strength of a few individuals, though small, could shape world history.